All right, so for this question, it says a zoo records the weights of a newborn elephant as 200 pounds. Each month, the elephant's current weight increases exponentially by half of the previous month's weight. Which equation can be used to solve, oh wait, which equation can be solved to determine the number of months T it will take for the elephant to weigh 675 pounds? All right, so same thing here. This is pretty easy. Um, the initial condition, that is 200. So the elephant was 200 pounds when it was born. That's the initial condition. Now, the growth rate is half. It's a growth rate, right? Because it says the weight increases. So we're going to say plus one half. Um, and then T is months. And then the final weight is equal to 675. So the general form is uh, initial, the initial value times 1 plus the rate raised to the time, and that has to equal the final. So then it should be 200 times 1 plus 1 half is equal to 675. Well, 1 is the same as 1 over 1. And or another way to write 1 would be, because i got to have a common denominator, I could say 200 times 2 over two, that's the same as one, plus one half, T is equal to 675, right? Well, what's two over two plus one over two? Well, that would be three over two. Raised to the T equals 675. So then, I've got to pick the equation, so that looks like this equation right here, right? This one right here. And then we got to solve to find out how many months that would be. Well, you can solve this using logs, but we're not going to use logs. We're just going to graph this real quick. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to go to Desmos. And I'm going to graph the left-hand side of the equal sign, and I'm going to graph the right-hand side of the equal sign and see where they match up. So the first one, I'm just going to say y equals 675. Um, the next one, I'm just going to do the left-hand side of the equal sign, which was 200 times 3 divided by 2. And I, in here, i got to raise it to the x. So... Now, I've got to set my window because my y value is going to be at 675. So I'm going to, I'm going to do like 670, um, like, or no, I want it to be less than that. So I'm going to say, well, and I'll set this to 680. How do I know to set it to that? Well, because y has to equal 675. So I mean my y value from 670, which was 5 less than 675. To 680. Now, this little dot here, that's the intersection. Okay? So when t equals 3, y equals 675. So that means three months. Okay? In other words, if I plug in 3 for here, I'll get 675. 